Hey guys, welcome back to Cyber Geek. In today's video, we are going to see part 3 for Android penetration testing lab setup. Now, in previous video, we have already seen what are the emulators out there and which one you need to choose it which supports your desktop. Okay, for my case, uh, Mimu player worked it fine. So I choose this one and in the second part, we have seen how can you set up bub shoot to work with. Okay, now in this episode, we are going to see how can you monitor a traffic for a particular application over here now two things to keep in mind and i will highly suggest you guys to use these emulators okay they are so beautiful they are easy to set up and all the first point is that you get easy root access with these emulators uh, you will get a root access easily for a memo player and nox okay other than that i have not tried and a, and a smart saga doesn't come with that i guess yeah it doesn't come with that so I get easy root mode, so I do not have to do rooting and all. So bunch of hard works is been already deducted from our purpose. Now the second point is that it is very easy to set up. Even it doesn't work, you can uh, uh, set up a new one, and it is very very easy to do it. Now as I have told you guys in my previous videos that if you have separate phone or extra mobile phone, do not root it. You can do on these emulators. You keep those mobile phones safely because uh, the thing is that you used to get updates on that software update update those make your own exploits and try on them okay try it on them so that you can uh, get the real-time environment of your application work okay on the emulators we will gonna do our own work over here so now let's get started with this the first thing you need to do is that go to the guitar uh, sorry on the web browser i'll give the links below okay now first you have to download this ssl unpinning something like that okay where is it uh where is it? wait a minute okay yeah there we go this is the one mobi scmp i have looked for this ssl unpinning and i got like frustrated where is it how can i get it even if i have got it it didn't work for me now finally i found a github project and i was like where is this uh, ssl unpinning i was looking for like a hell like then i realized okay it is basically over here so just uh, click on it over here open in a new tab i was checking its source code then i realized it is a dot apk file isn't i can simply install inside my mobile phone yes you can do that so download it and simply just download it uh, through your uh, emulator itself and it will come like this ssl pinning over here you see this right this application come on come down okay yeah it came down okay so this is your ssl unpinning which you need it why you need it i'll tell later on now once you are done with this close this one now another thing you need is that uh ex post framework over here uh, you need to uh, download this one over here this is the website i have finally found there are uh, many uh, framework you will get it but uh, uh, you need to select the one which works for you okay for your emulator or your android device for me this one has worked at fine so just right click on it it is also an apk file install it it's not a virus do not worry about it and you are only going to try it in your emulator not your desktop so nothing to worry about so once you set up everything and all you are going to uh, sorry i mean it's gonna look like something like this okay uh, just wait a bit i think it should move down okay yeah there we go so once you install both of them okay what you have to do first thing is that click on this x post now remember why I'm telling you to do in an emulator because if anything goes wrong you can restart the process if anything goes wrong with your ISO image one better to keep it a, a copy of that particular VMware so that if something goes wrong you can use the second one something like that okay so what I have did is that first I have installed this one you see this I have installed this uninstaller and then I have rebooted it so it has got successfully reboot if it doesn't work try it once again okay and i have try again see you can also install framework from a separate uh, file like a framework for this separately also but in the emulator of, over here itself you are going to get this option for version uh, download 
for the download okay uh, but uh, i think so in this iso images and all i think you are not gonna get this option so better select the perfect exposed manager which is working for your emulator or your iso image okay you so once you install this one basically over here once you do the installation over here uh, it will ask for your uh, super user permission and all so give it that okay give it uh, like it will ask you for uh, what option you want to give uh, is this for the first time or uh, for 10 minutes or remember this option forever so select the forever option and install it and then it will ask you for reboot reboot it it will work fine because for me itself it's working okay i do not know in jenny motion it must work and for me it didn't work basically as i said the jenny motion itself was unstable for me and it was keep on getting crushed so once you do this installation yeah 99 percent of your work is already done there is nothing to worry about okay so once this is done over here now remember that why we install this one why we need this exposed installer over here now this expo exposed installer is will give you lots of modules over here you see lots of add-ons like uh, for example you see on your uh, chrome extensions on your uh, firefox add-on something like that right so like that you can install bunch of modules over here and you can run it with the help of this okay now you see the ssl unpinning is there right the one we have installed this is a module for this expose okay now once you install go over here go under modules and if you have installed the ssl it will appear over here so click on it and close back and reboot it once again okay so once you do all this you are like how can i say 99.99 percent you are already done with everything now what you have to do now why did we install ssl unpinning over here basically see if i go uh, uh wait a minute just i'll just open this one okay so you can see i have selected something right i'm just gonna clear it out now you see nothing is there uh, i'm gonna close now i'm gonna open nike application over here or any application okay first of all i'm gonna open this and remember you need to set up your uh, proxy in the wi-fi which i have shown you guys how to do it in the part two and my bob suit is also connected to it okay and my intercept is off right now now if i open my nika just wait a bit yep see oops something went wrong retry retry it will not get open basically why because these applications have as uh, like how can i trusted certificates right ssl certificates and all so it is not gonna work like in second part i we have installed certificate for the bob suit to use the internet okay so for this purpose only we are using this ssl unpinning so with the help of this where is it the nika yeah just click on it and you will get this beautiful lamb as unpinned it just go back and just open the application click on retry okay so you might get some kind of error like this because the application i have already started and then i provided ssl unpinning to it so it will not work basically right i have to close it and reopen so i went over here and you have already seen that once i gone i just pressed on the cross button and then it uh, got closed the application and then i run it now you can see we are not getting error but it is showing loading over here which means what you know if you have seen the previous video of um, i mean the part two you know it is loading and it needs permission from our site over here now you see just click on forward keep on clicking forward 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 just keep on clicking forward now you can see the application has started working right you got it right what is happening over here so now you see that how can we do penetration testing for a particular application over here so i hope that this has cleared out all your doubts for setting up your annual penetration testing lab because 
for me i have spent fucking 4 days without sleeping struggling to make this one small stuff work for me now i hope this this easy explanation and setup will help you with your own android app, uh, penetration testing lab setup if any issues comment down below i will help you okay because i do not want you guys to spend that much time to just make work one simple stuff over here right so now what happens if i go okay no internet is down no the internet is not down because i have not completed the process over here for forwarding so if i keep on click on forward forward it's going to work oh okay i think so i i thought that i have just exposed my mobile number over here but no i'm going to blur that out for a moment i got like wo i did i just public my phone number so you can see i have logged in inside it okay was there a bug i was playing with it basically i was just changing the phone numbers i changed my phone number uh, while sending the process and i took otp on different number also i took uh, my gmail id i changed my gmail id otp everything and a uh, good thing to know uh, about this is that i thought that if i'm giving this number and i'm getting otp on that number whether i'm going to get successful or not Yes, I was successful. I got the OTP on different number. Then I wanted to see when the registration process completed, which detail I'm gonna get it, whether my this number, where I was forwarding my OTPs, or the actual one. Then I see that yes, I got the actual uh, the registration process on my uh, the number uh, on which I was uh, forwarding all the request basically. So which means. this is not a bug okay in nike i thought this can be a bug but no at the end if the registration was done on my primary phone number then i can say that okay there is a bug with this with anyone can tamper it and we can easily get access so yes this is how you can do your android penetration testing for a particular application over here you can test out bunch of applications you can see how the request process and all i know I know that you do not understand bug suit now okay so it's okay no problem if you are not want to, do not want to work with this bug suit and all no issues get one emulator because we are not going to play games over here you can reduce its uh, cpu usage and all and you can download some uh, payloads or exploit even on this android device and you can try it if you do not have extra mobile phone with you to do it basically so that's it this is the conclusion of the android setup penetration testing lab and we are done with this and now in future if i if i do something with this i will share with it you guys okay and yes i'm making video after a very very long time so i am not sure what are the topics which i'm going to cover i have ideas okay i have lots of plan to cover up but youtube is not allowing me to do it anymore that's the problem you can see lots of videos are getting deleted now but i have suffered this months on uh, already 2 to 3 months ago i have already suffered this problem now people out there they are also facing this problem so now everyone knows at my time no one knows i am a small person man come on i do this youtube purpose to teach and learn that's the thing and yeah that's all that's all i don't want to talk too much and yes we will be seeing some ctf and web penetration testing right now we will not going to touch with this android but if you want to do it you can do with this also and i have extra like mobile phone so mostly exploits and we're trying on the on that one not on the emulator okay emulator is just for these uh, bug bounty stuff or uh, like monitoring application stuff like that so that's all guys see you guys in the upcoming videos till then goodbye